You might notice in your default working directory or your desktop, you get all these files generated by Creo Parametric called trail.txt followed by a number. Those are called, appropriately enough, trail files and they record every single pick and click and mouse travel that you do inside of your Creo Parametric session. And the reason behind trail files is that Back in the day, computers were even more unstable than they are now. Computers would crash all the time, and people might have been working in Creo or back in the day, Pro Engineer, uh, for a few hours, and they lo lost all their work, and they were really upset. And trail files allow you to recover the steps in the work that you did before the crash. And so, first off, let's take a look at how you can control where your trail files go. If you go to File and then Options and Configuration Editor, you can set a config option called Trail DIR to some folder. And I have mine set to C Creo Trail. Let me cancel out of here and I am going to go to that folder. So here you see all the different trail files. And usually every once in a while I go through here and delete my old trail files. So I can just select them. Let me grab a bunch. I'm not going to grab all of them because I'm going to show you how to use a trail file. And let's hit the delete key. And it put those in the trash. And let's say that you get a crash. And you're like, oh man, I did a ton of work. I want to get that stuff back. You can use these trail files to recover that. And so... Here is the trail file for my current session of Creo Parametric. You'll notice that's 0K okay because I just fired up Creo. But here's the one from the session before. If I want to run this trail file, you have to rename it. You can't run a file called trail.txt. It forces you to rename it. So first off, I'm going to get rid of the .274 on the end of the name. And I'm going to pretend that I just had a crash. And so I'll just call it crash.txt. You can call it whatever you want. Yes, I want to change the file extension. And the other thing that you'll want to do is edit the trail file to remove the lines right at the end that caused the crash. I didn't have a crash. I accidentally, I actually manually exited out. But if I run this trail file, it's going to exit out of uh, Creo Parametric. So let's go ahead and delete the last few lines over here. This should be good. And save this. And then exit out of there, minimize this. Now if I want to run the trail file, here we have a button play trail file. Uh, you should also be able to get to it from like file, manage session, play trail file. Also, if you can't find the command, you can always use the command search to locate it. Start typing in trail. There it is, play trail file. I like the command search because if you hover over it, it'll also show you where the commands are. So let's play the trail file. And let me go to C, Creo, and here is my trail file directory. There it is, crash.txt. You'll notice that, again, it does not recognize any of the files with the trail name with a dot number at the end. So now I will click open and let's sit back and watch. And if you saw my videos on holes in profile rib, hey, you're getting another view of it. And again, you'll notice that it's doing every single pick and click and also all the mouse movements that I did. And one thing I want to caution you is that when I get a crash and try to use a trail file to recover, honestly, most of the time, it doesn't work for me. I, I would say that I'm only successful maybe 20% of the time. There you see it even crashed again or stopped again. I could go back to the trail file and remove some more lines at the end and hopefully get to a point where it's like, hey, I've got the work. 
uh, that I did previously and I want to recover. But again, sometimes it works, most of the time it does not. A quick update. I deleted some more lines from the trail file and I was able to get it run successfully. So I just want to let you know that it is possible to recover work using a trail file. You might notice that this is where I left off the end of the profile rib video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.